Hey everybody, welcome to this video. I'm Inks Laura123 and this is going to be a bit of arts and crafts for you. I have got this really cute little robot here. It's got like a little derpy face <laughs> um, and I'm going to paint him. So I got this from Hobbycraft. We have a new Hobbycraft here in Southend and yeah, he's just really cute and I'm going to paint him. Now I will say before we begin, I'm not very good at arts and craft. I enjoy it. It's relaxing. It's calm and it's fun and I like being creative. But I'm just not very good at it. <laughs> so don't expect a good job, as they say, but I will try my best. Um, so I'm going to probably go with the similar colours, maybe like the blue around him. Has he got like red eyes, got the yellow there on the mouth and some red there. And anyway, we will see how this turns out. Let's do it. Oh, and whilst I do my painting, I have a cup of tea in my new ghosty mug, uh, which I got from Poundland. Mmm. Lovely if I do say so myself. <laughs> right, I'm just going to get everything out of the box. Make sure there's nothing in there. No. Okay. So this be the little robot ready to get painted. Well, I think he is. He's probably like, no, don't do it to me. Oh, it is a money box. Do you know, I wasn't sure if it was a money box or not. Or just like a little figure to kind of paint. But yeah, it's a, it's a money box. So, oh yeah, there's a little... um. Think at the bottom there, so you'd get your your cash out. That's pretty cool. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, that is the robot, and then I've got me paint here. Oh, this is cute. Look at this little kit here. So you've got a little brush because yeah, I suppose you don't want a big brush because it's quite small really. Um, and you've got blue, yellow, red, is that green? Yeah, green and white and black. Uh, I think yeah. So they are the colours. It's not the best light in here. And as you can see, that is why we have two uh, missing bulbs, like they're not working. Nathan's going to change them today at some point. But it's all good. It's bright enough for me to do this, so it's okay. Um, right, so let's take these all out. I just dropped the paint. I opened the pack and it went flying. Right, okay. <laughs> um, what I should get actually is some kitchen paper, like towel, and like, a little glass of water or something to mix, my, you know, to clean brush each time and that found one of these little glass things this is from um them desserts isn't it gu dessert is it okay put some water in this and get some tissue paper okay put that over there okay so i put my phone on my little stand here which i use for filming so i hope that's okay because i don't think i've been able to Hold the phone whilst painting. I'm just opening up the little pots. This is going to go all over my hands, but there we go. It's okay. I can wash it off afterwards. Whenever I do painting, I always end up with paint all over me because I'm a messy pup. Oh, these are fiddly. Right, there we go. So they are they, those colours. Oh, really nice actually. Nice and bright. Red, yellow, and blue. Put them over there, and then we've got the uh, black colour here. Oh, my mum's up. She's going to come down and be like, mm, what are you doing arts and craft for first thing in the morning on a Sunday? Because I can't sleep. <laughs> I was going to just lay in bed and read, but I thought, well, I'm going to read a lot today anyway. I wanted to have like a reading day. Um, and I've already filmed an ASMR video, so I was like, no, nah, don't want to do any more of that yet. I just fancy doing some arts and crafts. Right, a little brush. Right, so, oh, I need the box to see um, the colour. So, I'll show you again. So, I'm not very good at this. <laughs> right, so, um, what should I do first? Should I just do blue all over? Because that's the main bulk colour. Oh, God, I nearly dropped it. I'm so clumsy. Right, yeah, I think I'm going to just start by just doing the blue all over. So it's, oh, God. He might not end up looking exactly like the box. <laughs> As mine normally don't. Like, whenever I've done, like, painting kits that are in boxes, I try and keep to the colour, but it doesn't go well. So I kind of end up... Um, changing things oh my 
gone into the eye. This brush is crap. I think that's what it is. I'll blame the brush, all right? It's not me. It's not that I've not got a steady hand. It's the brush. See, I'm doing this for Nathan because he loves robots. And uh, we actually went to Hobbycraft together. I'm going to have to try and get under there. Eek. That's it. Um, yeah, we went to Hobbycraft together and we saw this little kit and he was like, oh, it's a robot. And so, yeah, I got it and I was like, I'll do that for you. <laughs> He's going to put it in, um, in our bedroom. He's got some other like, little gaming figures and stuff like Fallout and um, oh no, I need to go under here. God, this is really difficult. Uh, okay. It's not too bad. I mean, it's not, I mean, they've got like grey around there, but it won't be happening with my one. He's just going to have blue around him. <laughs> just simple as that. But yeah, no, he's got some um, like little gaming figures and stuff, so he said he'd put the uh oh, I'm supposed to do that grey. Oh, we're gonna do him blue. We're just he, he's gonna be blue, right? <laughs> I will do his belt a different colour in this bit, obviously, but I think these bits here. Because if I start getting all fiddly with different colours, they're just all gonna go into each other and it's gonna look bad anyway, so we're just gonna stick to blue. <laughs> um I feel like I'm Bob Ross. Hello, it's Bob Ross. I'm just going to paint some happy little trees. <laughs> it's not a mistake. It's just a happy little tree. I do love a bit of Bob Ross. I haven't watched him for ages, actually. He's very relaxing. If you don't know who Bob Ross is, you're like, huh? He's, I don't, he's, yeah, he's not alive anymore, is he? He's died, sadly. Um, but he's this amazing painter. But he wasn't just a painter. He he done, I mean, amazing pictures. I love, like, his actual art style. is just sensational. It's my cup of tea, his art. Lots of trees and mountains and water and just, I don't know, just cool. Um, but, yeah, he, he didn't just paint. He would, like, talk in a very, like, soothing way as he would do his painting he had his own shows and stuff on tv and yeah i think you can still get them on it might even be um netflix i don't know amazon something like that that's where we used to watch them and also youtube as well there's loads on youtube of him but yeah he always did such amazing art and he as i say had just a really relaxing vibe like his voice and like when he talked about mixing the paints and stuff you know i think watching people paint is really relaxing well unless it's me because i'm not very relaxing to watch <laughs> i have no kind of <laughs> I, I know you're supposed to take your time and you know it probably would be better if you would take your time but i'm just like yeah i enjoy doing it but i don't want to go like oh hit the phone i don't want to go like super slow i just kind of want it done which i suppose is not the right way to do it but it is what it is. Like Nathan is really good at painting. He's got um he does like Warhammer gaming, like toy gaming thing with like models. And part of the game is that you paint your characters. And oh my god, like he's such a, a perfectionist with his painting, but it, it works because they like his figures just come out so well. Um I've done some Warhammer painting in my time as well. Which I think well, I don't know, there's been a couple that I've done that are good, but in general, they're not that great. <laughs> but I think it's always the same thing with me in painting, and any arts and craft, really, is that I rush it. But it's not It's not because I, like, I want to get it done. I just, I don't know, I just, for me, in a weird way, I find it more relaxing doing it at a faster pace, if that makes sense. But I know it would probably, you know, things would come out better if I was to be like this. See, that's like, more relax. I don't know, it's kind of relaxing. But I'm just like, no, I just want it done. <laughs> Let me know in the comments section down below if you, if you like doing arts and crafts and what kind. Do you like painting, drawing, colouring, 
making things. See, I I would love to be able to like make stuff from scratch. You know, like you just get like a bunch of random things and like pipe cleaners and glue and just like make something. Like, it's so cool, but I just I'm useless. Even if I try and follow guidelines, like if I've watched a video and trying to copy it, you know, still can't do it. I'm just really, I don't know, rubbish here, but I just, I do enjoy it. I do enjoy arts and crafts and I love watching people's videos like on YouTube where they've made something, like little hacks and that, you know, and they go, oh, make this, make this. And they just get a load of random to it and just like make stuff. I love that. It is a lovely colour blue though. I should have probably, oh God, how am I going to hold this? <laughs> I should have took the, the money bit off. I wonder if I can. Uh oh, my finger's gone in it. Oh, there we go. That way I can kind of loop, loop my finger in it as I hold it. I should have thought of that beforehand. Oh, but yeah, let me know what you like doing. I love colouring. Um, I find colouring really relaxing. I mean, I always enjoyed colouring as a kid and as an adult. I think nowadays it's kind of acceptable to carry on painting, sorry, colouring as an adult because there's a lot of like, you know, mental health things that say, you know, for calming anxiety and relaxing, colouring is good, like well-being. There's a lot of like adult colouring books and stuff. So I think it's become like acceptable. But to be fair, I like colouring as an adult even before it was okay to do it and everyone was going on about it. Um, it's just nice. So something about... I don't know, having like a blank canvas and then just like getting a load of colour and just like creating it from nothing kind of thing. But even with colouring, like as a, oh, I keep knocking the phone, sorry. <laughs> even with like as a kid with colouring, I could never stick to the lines. You know, you've got like keep into the line of the design. I couldn't do that either. It was always like going over the line and stuff. Maybe I'm just too impatient. Or maybe I'm just rubbish. I don't know. But yeah, I love colouring. Um, I do like painting. Right. Okay. I'm going to pop him down somehow. Oh, this isn't good. All right. I'm just going to have to do that. There's only way I can do it. All right. There you go. You can still see him, can't you? Okay, so I might have to go over a few little bits where I've held him and stuff. But it is a really lovely blue. I have to say, it's a very nice blue, sir. So a bit at the back. There we go. I know I've gone over a little bit there, but it is what it is. Okay, so that is the blue. And rinse there. Oh, the water's gone blue. Okay. Actually, that reminded me when I was a kid, I used to love doing um magic. I'm just going to wipe my brush. Um, magic painting. Does anyone remember magic painting? So you get like this like little book, colouring book thing, and it all the pictures be like grey. And then as soon as you put water on with your brush. They would turn a different colour. It was like magic, hence the name magic painting. And I used to sit there for hours with those books. I was so fascinated. I couldn't work out how. I'm just putting the red on now, by the way. Okay. Um, I couldn't work out how these magical colours were <laughs> happening. Right, so I'm going to put the red there. But yeah, really cool. I like doing magic painting. I remember once <laughs> um, I had two glasses of water, right? This is a true story. Two glasses of water. I had one that I was drinking. I was only a kid, by the way. Um, Uh-oh. Oops. I didn't want that. To, I wanted that to be yellow. Oh, I'm just going to have to kind of go with it. Maybe make this bit red. I still want to try and make some yellow, though, on the little like buttons. Um, yeah, I had two glasses of um, water one I was drinking 
and uh, one was my like magic painting water you know so like like that to clean the brush and uh, yeah I must have been rushing rushing me <laughs> and I um I took a drink a big gulp from a glass that I thought was my drinking water but surprise surprise it was this disgusting magic paint water that I'd cleaned my brush out with oh god sorry ah <laughs> is that still recording are we still there okay sorry I keep because I've put this phone holder like right here and it's it's good for the angle but it's not good for me to keep knocking into it right now I'm gonna try and oh, that button's just gonna be red there's no other way because I've just ruined that I said to Nathan don't expect a good job but I'm gonna try <laughs> I'm gonna try my best and he's like look it's fine it's okay I think he felt sorry for me because <laughs> he knows I'm not very good oh this brush it's like it's it's small but it's i mean look it's only a cheap little set i can't remember how much this set cost to be fair um i don't know i think it was about two pound or something like it wasn't expensive and as i say i've got freebies because i yeah i went and filmed the opening of the hobbycraft it's a lovely store by the way the new hobbycraft south end absolutely amazing and it's really big as well So if you like your hobby craft stuff, we do have a new one here in South End on Sea. It's along the London Road. Uh, okay. Oh God. I'm annoyed that I went over that button, but it is what it is. Right. Oh no, I need the red because I need to do his his um his eyes. Oh, yeah. right, so I'm going to give him red eyes. He's going to look possessed. <laughs> yeah, so it's Sunday today. I've got um, a relaxing day planned. I will try and do some, uh, some filming. It's a little bit. I did do a lot of filming yesterday, so I'm happy about that. I've been finding it really difficult to... Um, like motivate myself to do filming lately but I'm gonna push myself so yeah I managed to get a lot done yesterday and I, even if I get a few done today I'll be happy with that I mean obviously this is a video um I was gonna do this as a live stream but I think you know when I've done arts and crafts on live streams before it is fun but it's it's quite distracting because obviously I'm chatting with people and then you know but I still will like if you enjoy the live streams when I do arts and crafts I will be doing them again but I think with the little robot I didn't want to kind of mess it up because it's for Nathan I say mess it up but you know what I mean um I'm going to kind of concentrate on it right I'm putting the yellow on now um and yeah I just thought I'd do a video of it instead the yellow mouth but yeah so I'm filming today, um, I'm reading a new book which is really good, it's called I'm the Girl by Courtney Summers and uh, yeah I'm really enjoying it actually, she's one of my favourite authors so to be fair anything she writes I love, how's that, um, and yeah let's just do some reading today, I've got eBay to do later I put my eBay stuff on. I'm an eBay reseller, so Sundays is the day that I sit and put my eBay stuff on. I've got quite a bit to put on today as well, so it's going to take me a good couple of hours, but I'll just have my audiobook on or some music on Spotify or something just to you know, keep me occupied whilst I do it. buttons are not good <laughs> oh. but Nathan will appreciate the effort right oh yeah I'm 
don't know if I should try and go over this one. Will it work? Oh, kind of works. Yeah, that'll do. That's better. Look better than just like three yellows on one random red. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I'm quite happy with that. So there was yellow around here as well, but I don't think I'm going to be able to do that. I don't know if it will go over. It might go over. Oh, it does. Oh, that's cool. Let's do a little bit. Just on the sleeve, there's like some yellow. Uh-oh. Should have left it. <laughs> Shouldn't have done that. I don't know. Obviously hasn't dried this side that well. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. And that's the other thing, being impatient with painting. You're supposed to let things dry first. <laughs> it's it. Right, so let me show you. What do you think? So there's the box. I mean, it's kind of similar. It's not that much different. Well, I mean, obviously, theirs is better. <laughs> but, you know, I went with the blue and the red and the yellow, and yeah. So there we go, the finished result. What do you think? It was fun. I enjoyed it. Um, so there we go. <laughs> Thank you for watching and I hope I've kept you entertained. I'm going to go and tidy this all up now. And yeah, please click like, comment, share, subscribe, smash the notification bell to all notifications. Check out Minx Laura 123 ASMR, my other YouTube channel. The link is down below. Um, also my social media down below, links, so Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, Goodreads and Throne Wishlist if you care to treat me and spoil me. Right everyone, me and this little fella, I don't know what to call him. About Robbie, Robbie the robot, and also because Robbie Williams, I do love a bit Robbie Williams from Take That. Oof, gorgeous. Um, I mean, a really good singer. <laughs> Actually, he's a really good singer as well. Anyway, let's call him Robbie. Robbie the robot. <laughs> See you later, everyone.